somebody borrowed 3,000 for 3,000 rupees for four years and 8,000 for two and a half years from Sonia at the same rate. If the interest earned by Sonia was 2,880 rupees, find the rate of interest. So let's again do this problem on simple interest. This is again a problem on simple interest. So there are two situations. Principal is uh, 3,000 rupees. The number of years is four. And we, we want to find the rate of interest. So let's say rate of interest is X. And the second situation is your principal is 8,000 rupees. The principal is 8,000 rupees. Your N is 2.5 years, so two and a half years, or 2.5 years. This is four years. And the rate of interest is the same, which is X. This is X. And finally, what is given is total interest. You can, I, I can write, I'll write IT, total interest is rupees 2,880. You want to find the rate of interest. So let me call this I1. Interest in the first situation would be your principal. Principal would be 3,000 times X over 100 times 4. So this 100, 100 gets cancelled. So your I1 interest in the first situation is 4 times 3 is 12. So this is 120x. Okay, your I2, let me put it here. Your I2 interest in the second situation would be 8,000. 8,000 times 2.5 over 100 times uh, no, your, your this x rate of interest is x, so this is x over 100, x over 100, and 2.5 I'm writing as 25 over 10. So this 100 and the 0 gets cancelled. So your i2 is 25 times 8, which is 200x. I hope you understand i1 plus i2 interest in the first situation plus interest in the second situation is equal to the total interest which is it so this is a simple linear equation this is 120x plus 200x is equal to 2808 so this is 320x is equal to 2880 so dividing both sides by 320, your x would be your rate of interest is 2,880 times 10 divided by 32 times 10. I want to do this without a calculator, so 10 and 10 gets cancelled. So this is, this you can divide by 4, this is 4 times 72, and this is 4 times 8. 4 times 7 is 4 times 7 is 28 and 4 times 3 is 8 so 4 times 8 so 8 so this is again you can write this is 8 times 9 over 8 so this 8 gets cancelled your x is 9 which implies your rate of interest your r is equal to 9 percent your rate of interest is 9 percent so let's confirm whether our answer is right. So your I, so let me use a different color. So your I1, your I1 would be 120x, which is 120 times 9. 120 times 9, 12 times 9 is 108, so this is 1080. And this would be 200 times 9. 200 times 9, which is? 1800 so 1800 so let's confirm 1800 plus 1080 is 2880 so answer is right